Yes, this is Dave from Puba, and I am at South by Southwest on day two. So we've been showing the weaponographist to a lot of people. A lot of people are enjoying it and having a great time, so that is cool. I'm probably meeting about 112 people every day. We got our first customer. What's poppin'? This is ICJ. Terabang Entertainment and The Mix, the Media Indie Exchange. We are here to showcase the most awesome devs on the planet. We invaded South by Southwest. There are 20 games at the booth. Humble is a main sponsor as well as Razer. Um, they help make this possible. Hello, I'm Kazuo Maeda, the social media ninja of the Star Mazer crew. This is Star Mazer at South by Southwest 2015. It is a genre blend between side scroll shmup like Gradius and R-Type, all those games we grew up loving. You know, so we're making a game like a side scroll shmup, but one thing they've always lacked, for me at least, was story. It was always just like, go shoot aliens, they came to Earth, kill them all, defeat the boss, and that's it. So what are we going to do to get around that when we want to tell a very detailed story about Brick M. Stonewood? Well, we introduce point and click elements. So now, when you're not in your spaceship blowing everything up, you're on the ground in the Exeter Space Station, talking to aliens in fully voiced dialogue sequences, learning about them, getting quests, getting missions, using items, solving puzzles, and when you're ready to fly off on the next mission, travel around or fight that boss, you get right back into your Star Wars, blast off, and start in an engaging schmuck. Hi, I'm Brent, and this is Ephemerid. It is a musical adventure game. It's sort of an interactive album. It's a rock fairy tale about a paper mayfly. Uh, the game is different in that we actually wrote the music first, and then we designed the game around the music. So every level is different. It's built around that song. The whole thing, it's an album length experience. You'll go on a journey with this paper mayfly. Mayflies only have a day to live, so we need to make it as epic as possible. It's called Ephemerid. It's out right now. It's out on iPads. It's out on Steam. Hi, I'm Chris at Beardo Games, and I'm here showing off Smooth Operator. It's a two-player kissing game, kind of a cooperative uh, two-player game as opposed to a competitive two-player game. Okay, so we'll get these DDR prompts in the middle of the screen, and just for the sake of de demonstration, I'll show both characters playing at once. And the sparkles mean that you're doing it right, that you're both getting the controls at the right time. We're really happy to have been asked to attend by uh, any mix. Um, it's been a really great opportunity. We've had a lot of really great folks, both developers and other folks who are here to see it. So, really happy we had the chance to do this. Hey, uh, my name is Will, and this is Joden. It's an action exploration game that's hand drawn and set in Norse mythology. We play Thora, a Viking warrior who died an inglorious death and must prove herself to the gods to enter Valhalla. Mix is cool. Uh, South by Southwest is cool. We're happy to meet some gamers here, uh, meet some fans, get people playing the game, getting people excited about the game, so we're happy. Uh, you're seeing uh, the uh, Winter Joke boss fight. So the game is an action exploration game. You explore Norse Purgatory to find rooms, and then you use those rooms to summon and fight the Joten, mighty Norse elementals. Uh, Joten actually means giant in Old Norse. Nah, man, thanks for sharing this with me, Dave. <laughs> I had a crazy few days.
Say good night, Brent. Good night, Brent. Good night, night South by Southwest. Good night. Signing off. Bye. Here I am walking back from South by Southwest in Austin. I had a great time at the Indie Mix booth with all the other indie developers that are part of the Media Indie Exchange. And um, yeah, just enjoying this lovely view. Uh, thank you to the Mix, thank you to Humble Bundle, thank you to In Media Indie Exchange. And thanks to all the friendly devs who made my time here so enjoyable. <laughs>